Welcome to the Reno Comedy Vlog. This, I'm your host. I'm Michael G. Michael Graham. Um, I can't live like this anymore. I, I can't let people see me in my dinosaur costume without sunglasses on. I can't live like this anymore. There's got to be something here in all this old junk I have. Come on, what am I going to do? No. <laughs> While I'm... Don't look. While I'm searching, please enjoy the clips from... Um, from from uh, the Dead Panda open mic, not this Sunday that just happened, because I forgot to clean my camera and get everything set up, but, the, but from the week from before. Uh, luckily, I did the whole, ooh, goodbye, let me jerk off Psy thing, so now enjoy it. Yeah, the best comedy from this last week and this week. Uh, just watch it. One more time, how's it going, buddy? So, my name's Happy Ron. Be sure to tip your bartenders, and whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do, do not be the guy I wrote about in this song. I've loved you for minutes. That's hundreds of seconds. Long enough to know that this love could last for hours. If you'll take my hand and you'll pour me another stairs you turn to the right and there's my roommate's room and then the left is like a den and then over to my room so as I'm coming up the stairs I turn to my right and I see standing in the doorway is my adult male roommate butt-ass naked and guys the, the term of baby's arm holding an apple just doesn't do it <laughs> like I was physically shook like I've never looked at another man's piece and felt bad about myself <laughs> it probably doesn't help I live with my dad <laughs> Coco the gorilla, the first gorilla to use sign language, right? And I learned that Coco the gorilla was sued for sexual harassment. Because people felt forced to show this gorilla their nipples. That's not a joke. They would go see the gorilla, they had to show her their nipples. And when I was in a relationship, I was like, what kind of fucking dumbass? doesn't, sh like, goes in and shows a gorilla your nipples. Like, you can just walk out, the gorilla's in a cage, right? But now that I'm single, I'm like, dude, if Coco the gorilla wanted to see my nipples? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not do it. Like, just for the sexual tension of it. Like, she's so strong, and I would just be standing there like, what are you gonna do? Um, anyway, no one wants to see my nipples, so ask me after the show. My name's Vince. Many of you, people always ask me, like, how did you come up with the name Dead Panda Comedy? Well, it was actually based off, like, a, a moderately good joke I have, which is the joke that I'm going to tell now. Um, anyway, so, this girl was talking to me, and she's like, oh, you do comedy? What's, what's your comedy like? I'm like, well, like, I have some, like, I do some comedy songs on guitar, and I have some, like, really, like, over-the-top 
um, jokes, and then sometimes I have like deadpan delivery. She's like, dead panda delivery? What's that? I'm like, no, not dead panda delivery, dead pan delivery. Um, like dead panda delivery, it sounds like the worst Chinese restaurant ever. <laughs> Cause you got, their menu items could be like Kung Pao dead now chicken, um, General So's panda balls, and uh, uh, Chickadee China, the Chinese chicken. <laughs> You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. Um, anyway. I know Will was talking about male sex toys earlier. <laughs> and it got me thinking, I'm like, got an entrepreneurial mind. I thought maybe I could make like a Billy Mays head. <laughs> like you could fuck, you know what I mean? <laughs> like once you use it, you'll be the amazing power of OxyClean. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I ordered a pizza on DoorDash, and it was delivered to me by a guy on a bicycle. So my you know, initial reaction was like, I'm probably gonna get raped. <laughs> I don't trust DoorDash delivery people on bikes, right? Like, that's ridiculous. But he was actually my youth pastor from my, youth, my church when I was a kid in Winnemucca. And uh, he was like, oh, God, you were so bad in our youth group, Michael. And I was like, well, I see you're doing well. <laughs> Okay, Monday night was the Inner Demons comedy. Please uh, check that out. What the fuck? Is that? Huh. There's something in there. Check out the Inner Demons stuff. My roommate started watching this new show, and it's called Naked and Afraid and in Love. They got a friend in love. It, they made a they made a romance show about naked and afraid. And at this point, I realized I was like, yeah, love is dead. <laughs> like, is that what it takes for you to find someone to commit to you, trying to survive on an island with your dick out? <laughs> and I don't know how they put a show like that together post Me Too in Hollywood. <laughs> Like, it doesn't make sense. They must have like two separate rooms where the ladies are like, listen, you're gonna be on this island, if there's any safety concerns, like you're gonna have a crew around you to make sure you're okay, but try to survive as best as you can. And then in the other room, it's just a guy yelling at the guys going, don't fucking get hard on the show. <laughs> Keep that dick down, we can't get sued again. <laughs> I mean, when I saw, Somebody take all the dragons out of the game Skyrim and replace them with the state of Ohio. <laughs> and I thought there's nothing more scary than being face to face with a dragon than the state of Ohio. So, <laughs> like, think about it, man. Like, who wants to fucking be in Ohio? Like, there are 11 astronauts from the United States that have been to the moon, and nine of them are from Ohio. <laughs> That means they want to get as far the fuck away as possible from that godforsaken state. Yeah. I was in Montana. Um, first thing I did when I got to Montana, didn't know anyone. I looked up clubs I could join in Montana. And if you Google Montana Social Clubs, you'll come up with Ravalli County Supper Club, um, uh, Anaconda Order of Hibernians, and the Sons of Norway. Yeah. What those all have in common is they all sound like violent white power prison gangs. <laughs> I'm like the Sons of Norway. Um, as it turns out, their meetings are great allies for crimes you might want to commit. <laughs> like the uh, hey, uh, Another hooker washed up at the old Fleming place. Like, hold on. Couldn't have been him. He was working the dunk tank at the Ravalli County Fair. <laughs> the Sons of Norway. That alibi is bulletproof just like the windows in the Sons of Norway meeting house. <laughs> so check out Sons of Norway every Thursday night this fall on FX. <laughs> I, have, I have this theory. So do you know what a diva cup is? <laughs> what? A diva cup? I've heard about, yeah. So they're great, honestly. Like, if you want to be all in the environmental shit, like, switch to those, because it's, but it's kind of gross, but it's like two ounces of just blood just chilling up there. I'm like, I can imagine like going to like a corner store and be like, hey babe, like, take that pocket shot and we'll just, just suck up a pocket <laughs> shot real quick and then, you know, 
easiest, <laughs> easiest thing that's right. Dude. Or I have heard a story of uh, some chick putting like Molly and cocaine in a diva cup and shoving it up there. So yeah, like I honestly wouldn't mind going to a festival and getting some pussy cocaine. <laughs> There's a Ooh, this thing smells a little weird. <laughs> Is this cut with something? <laughs> <laughs> I have a butt plug in me right now. But I don't have an ass, so it has a fidget spinner at the end and you can spin it. And then if you put me in a boat, or in a body of water, I'll just set off like a boat. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay. Frank, drop a beat! Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening, the beat's coming! Here we go. Skip it to the middle. <laughs> God. Stop. No. One, hold on. Oh my God. That feels so much better. Ah. Uh, yes. Next thing we did. Well, next thing I did, I went to Reading with my friend Mark Yaffe. Thank you again, Mark, for letting me open up for you on Wednesday night. We uh, we did a really amazing show. I put the camera on like a speaker, so it's, it sounds a little drowned out, which sucks, but it's fine. You'll get the point of everything, because like this is going to be this whole, oh, comedy, destroyers, destroyers heckler segment. But, but yeah, there is this, this crazy drunk lady that uh, I, uh, you know, just watch, just watch the clips. Anyway, it was a lot funnier in person. Every the crowd was super into it. So, for, but eh, I'm now it's magic's gonna be ruined. But it was still fun. I can't wait to go back there. Uh, enjoy the clip. I'm from Nevada, the only state in America with 24-hour gambling, 24-hour drinking, legalized marijuana, and legalized prostitution. Yeah, yeah Nevada state motto: We're getting your money one fucking way or another. <laughs> Nevada is the only state in America you get drunk at 3 a.m., lose your kid's college fund, play craps at 4 a.m., uh, buy weed at 6 a.m., and go to a brothel at 7 a.m. Or as my neighbor calls it, getting ready for work. No, thank you. <laughs> God, this is a real, like... Hard of crowd. Not really. I just feel like if I say Trump, people are going to come in their pants here. Am I hanging in there? <laughs> There's always one, you guys. I'm sorry that I'm not the Leonard Skinner cover band. Why would you come to your sister? I bet she's just as big of a cover when she's sober. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get away with that a lot. 
You'll find that like the people that get the angriest when you say cunt in public are also the biggest examples of work. <laughs> oh yeah, that ain't bad. Those are sharp. Wow. The last thing we did uh, this week, we uh, well, we did other stuff. I just, like I said, I didn't empty out my camera this week. So, uh, last thing we did was on Saturday, we had a featured show at, for Dead Panda Comedy. Our friend Andrea B was the headliner. It was great for her to come out. Enjoy the clips. Let me know what you think. Yeah. Why every pic Why does every picture of Jesus look like some dude named Liam? <laughs> All right. There's a really long answer for that. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. No, yeah, that's right. That's because that's ridiculous, right? Like Jesus wasn't white. You know, Jesus lived in the Middle East, right? God is white, though. God is definitely. <laughs> I just want to ask the audience real quick. How many of you guys are straight? Make some noise. Straight pride. Yeah, I love it. I just wanted to say at the outset, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to tell you what I should have told my parents when I came out to them. It only gets gayer from here. <laughs> but no, I don't actually do dating profiles or anything. I don't even jerk off. There's too many different kinds of porn out there. Do you guys like porn? Yeah! <laughs> Damn, man. You better fucking believe it, brother. Pull my dick off, I jerk off so hard. Yeah! I'm gonna eat it and watch it grow back. You guys see those shirts? It says, uh. Everyone's wearing those shirts now, it says, Let's Go Brandon. I don't know, you see these? I thought, I thought that was for a sick kid. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought it was for a kid that was like, <laughs> I would be John Cena! Uh, no, no, fucking, whatever. I, Oh wait, here's what I want to do. I want to get a shirt that says Let's Go Brandon on it, but I want to, it has a picture of a sick kid. <laughs> and then I go up to people with Let's Go Brandon t-shirts on, and I'm like, I just want to thank you for supporting my child. <laughs> and I say we're really feeling the love right now. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I hit on a homeless guy recently. Yeah, outside of a Trader Joe's. Uh, he was hot from like far away, you know what I mean? <laughs> he had a beard and tattoos. I'm into that kind of thing. I look like I'm into that kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, the closer I got, I realized not tattoos at all, just dirty. <laughs> but I was like way too close, just turn around, make it awkward. So I'm like, you know what, Morgan, you don't know his life. Maybe he works construction. <laughs> So I talked to him for a little bit, right? Plus he was kind of hot. He looked like Christian Bale if instead of becoming a method actor, he just stopped at the meth part. <laughs> Nerd here. I used to work in a contemporary art museum though. Do you guys know what's up with contemporary art? It's literally anything. That's it, like it's literally anything. Like I worked in an art museum where I heard the sentence, someone ate the artwork again. <laughs> it was a burrito. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> you guys like that episode? Then make sure you give us a like, comment, and a subscribe if you want. Leave a comment. That's part of that whole thing. I like to see what you guys have on your minds. Other than that, please follow all of my hilarious, funny friends on the next page over. I've tagged all their Instagrams. They, they're easy to find. And uh, come check us out. Uh, we moved the roast battle from the smoke. Uh, so that's going to be tomorrow night instead. So if you're seeing this on Tuesday when this comes out, come and watch me and Mo finally fucking get this stupid roast out of the way. Other than that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm Michael. Stay sweet.